Good morning. Uh, it's an early start today, so it's about half seven. So about an hour to uh, sunrise, and I'm in the Spurn Mountains today. Um, we're, uh, I suppose, in the middle of, of quite a cold spell of weather. Uh, and I would plan to uh, do this walk uh, on Sunday. Uh, but when I get up uh, at half six, there was cars slipping and sliding all over the place with, with black ice, so uh, I went back to bed. <laughs> uh, so it's now Tuesday and, and I'm off and it's midweek. Uh, so the roads, the roads this morning were really good, uh, really well gridded, uh, so no problem at all getting here. Um, so I, I'm going to climb up uh, Mullockmore Mountain uh, and, and hopefully uh, there's a bit of snow up there. There isn't a sound. It's just so, so still. Um, there's a lovely moon. Um, the, the only sound is a crunch, crunch beneath my feet. Um, unbelievably still. And to be walking in the dark as well, it's really, really cool. So I'm already having to uh, bring in the layer system. Uh, I've, I've uh, pretty much three jackets on, two fleeces and, and this um, down jacket. Uh, but because there's no air, um, it doesn't really feel that cold. Uh, so the, the zips are starting to come down. Uh, but you can see it's nearly eight o'clock and starting to get a wee bit of light. Uh, so I'm I'm able to walk up through my Damla forest here without the head torch, uh, and they've obviously done a bit of work here in the forest. Uh, the track's been improved, uh, and there's a new car park, which I'll, I'll hopefully be able to show you once I get back down in the light. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful, and I've started to hear a, a couple of birds uh, starting to chirp with the uh, dawn chorus. just had a pheasant uh, walk across the track in front of me. I'm not sure that signifies anything uh, fortunate or unfortunate. Uh, though there, this is an area where um, uh, I suppose um, supporting the, the the breeding of pheasants is, um, you can see evidence of it around the forest. Um, and as I leave the forest a bit. Um, I'm starting to get some views over the rest of the Sparrows. Uh, so that's over to Upmore and Mulligini. Uh, and you can see there's a nice wee bit of snow there. Uh, even though it's been really cold, it's been sort of like a, a northerly and an easterly wind. So it hasn't brought an awful lot of snow. Usually you would get a big dump of snow if you have something coming in from the west, but it's um, just been a few showers, so it's it, it, there's not a lot of snow, but um, the past few winters here, certainly in Northern Ireland, uh, snow has been something that's been in, in really, really short supply. So I was talking about the uh, improved car park uh, and trails and there's been a couple of these benches um, put in as well and there's the view from that one which is uh, pretty cool um, and these uh, in my experience these, these forests around the Spirons are fairly well used um, but it's cool that the uh, local council and the forest service um, or, or doing a bit of work to make them even more accessible.
So that's uh, sunrise away to the east. Um, and I'm just below Eagles Rock, which you can see above me there. And it's quite an oppressive uh, line of cliffs. Certainly here in the Sparrows, well, there's not many cliffs. The way I do think it would be quite impressive, uh, no matter where you were. Um, we breezes cut up, um, and just that bit of movement in the cold air, you can really, really feel it. Um, so that the, the zips are back up. So my following's a wee bit different today. Uh, I've only the one camera, the GoPro. Uh, my other camera, which I, I use for taking sort of zoomed in or close up shots, uh, took a wee knock in the morns. So uh, there's some DIY repairs. Uh, just with the lens attaches to the camera body. That's there's a wee that's a bit loose there. So hopefully I can fix that. Uh, the GoPro today, just because it's so cold, uh, it's been turning off. Uh, after maybe about 20, 20, 30 seconds. Uh, this is a GoPro Hero 9. Uh, so what I've done, I've started uh, putting it in my uh, pocket of my <laughs> fleece-lined winter trousers. Um, so hopefully that'll put a bit of warmth into it um, and it'll stay on. Uh, and I could ramble on here for another minute or two to see if it stays on but it's definitely staying on a wee bit longer so hopefully that's working um, just giving that wee bit of insulation from the cold To look back uh, along the route I've come so far. So that um, hill heads all the way back to Eagles Rock. It's really cool. You can see there's there's a lot of um, sort of mist hugging the lower ground. Lots of beautiful rain frost. Uh, just with the cold weather, glorious to see. So this is the top of Mulkmore Mountain and it's 550 metres um, and it's one of my go-to mountains in the Sparrows whenever there's wintry weather and that's the line of the bigger Sparrows Hills um, heading away out to the west and away way out west I can see the snow-capped hills of Donegal which is really really cool As you would expect, uh, there is a road uh, serving the comms mast. Um, and it's actually quite a, a cool way to come up and down to the top of Mullock Moor uh, without a lot of effort. Um, I like to sort of follow the western edge of the hill down, and there's a nice gully there which um, hopefully will have a, a nicely iced up waterfall. Um, usually is after a cold spell and if you can see away to the north um, there's some cool looking snow showers up there which was forecast um, I don't know if I'll get any of these today or, or whether they'll, they'll just skirt a, a, a wee bit further north So 
So the sun is still winning out. Um, it's half ten, so I've been going for about three and a half hours. Um, it's not winning out over there though. You can see all that cloud um, where, where those snow showers are, but um, I'm not sure if that's going to reach me or not. So I'm about to drop down. The gully runs down there to the bridge at the road. There's ice. <laughs> yeah. You can usually rely on this uh, wee streaming waterfall whenever it's cold. Um, probably not as impressive as it could be because just there's not much water flowing. Um, but I think it's still uh, pretty impressive. And it has started to snow, so um, I wasn't able to avoid the snow shower. <laughs> So I do think I timed out rather well. Um, there's the gully. I come down alongside and through. Um, and if you look up towards the top of Mullock Moor, it's just shrouded in mist. Um, and there's a bit of mist on over uh, across some of the higher tops, just with that cloud um, coming in. But I think it's starting to break up again. But um, I got my um, clear, clear views from the top when I was up there, so that was cool. So I'm wearing my uh, heavy duty boots today, these are my uh, solo leather boots and I don't think I've worn them in about two years um, just because they're too damned heavy um, but they're absolutely perfect um, for conditions like today. So these um, sort of high quiet mountain roads um, I find have a lot of litter. So this particular road um, I've picked uh, about four bags of litter from it in the past and there's still loads here so my intention is um, to come back and uh, do some more. Here's the top of Mullock Moor just uh, clearing again. Pretty cool looking away up there, and it was good to be up there earlier. So that's me back, all done. Uh, five hours of walking, um, and it's sort of just lunchtime, so the early start um, pays off, I think. Uh, perfect conditions today. Oh, couldn't have had better. Um, beautiful up on top of uh, Mullock Moor with that powder snow, uh, solid frozen, um, and super views, super clear. Um, yeah, just a, a, a great, a great day or a great half day. Um, and I'm lucky. I've I've a day off during the week. I only work four days. Um, so this is the car park, uh, and this is quite new. Um, so Middle Ulster Council and um, Forestry Service have um, they've at least two of these. There's one at uh, Enniskerran Forest near Sleeve Galleon. Um, so they've, they've put in 
um, good parking, um, they've put in notice boards um, and they've improved some of the infrastructure like gates and seating uh, and, and tracks which is really really cool as I said earlier um, it's super um, to make these places as accessible as, as they can be for people just to get out um, and to look after their health uh, and, and their well-being so um, yeah really really cool so that's me done bye bye <laughs>